and welcome back to my desktop channel. Now, from this tutorial, we are going to start the actual swing components. Now, here the first component which I have took is a J applet. So, before starting, just I request you please subscribe the channel and click on the bell icon so that you will get the notification as soon as I do my next video. So, now here the first swing component here I have took is a J applet. As I told, the whatever the programs we have done in applet, it can be done in two ways. One is association and one is through the inheritance. So by using the frame also you can create or the added component or also using the applet how we did in Java program. There also you can add the many of the components or use the components on the applet viewer. So here the swing components can be also added on the J applet. Now here the J applet which extends the applet. Just remember that means the applet is a super class for a J applet. But what exactly is the difference between J applet and applet? And J applet have is very rich in the functionalities. And what are the functionalities? They're not in the applet. Just let me give you an example that J applet supports many of the paths that is content path, then the glass path, and there are many other paths that are supported in a J plan, but it is not supported in an applet. So, as I told, the program, whatever the programming is there, it can be done on the applet we were to. As in the applet, what we were doing, we were, whatever the pro, pro, process is there, whatever the methods are there, we were using, we were exporting the uh, packages and regarding the, whatever the button is there, and we are using the add method. But what exactly we did in J applet? If we are using or doing the programming of swing components on the J applet, just remember or Listen carefully, if you are doing the programming in the J applet, it does not support the add method. It does not use the add method that we used in applet. Just listen carefully, we do not use that add method. Instead, we invoke or call that method for a content path. For the content path. Now, what exactly is the content path? As what are the swing output is there, there are many different types of layers. And the layer which holds the object is called as a content path. So for knowing that, first you should know the content path. What is the content path? So for that you use this method, it's container, get content path. Here you have to know the container, what is the content path. And after knowing that content path, you have to add the method on the content path. So here, first you will know the content path using and just remember what is written type. It's written type is container. So here you will take what is the content path. Suppose you have created, here you have created, suppose here is a container, I have to container c is equal to get content path. By using this line, I will know the content path. And after knowing that, suppose what are the object I have created? Suppose a object is created of a button, j button. So what I will do? c dot add. Here I will add c dot add a. That means on content part, I'm going to add the controls in J applet if you're using a J applet. So this is regarding the J applet. If you have any kind of question, you can mention in the comment section. And thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you.